Welcome back to the Acumen Labs, where we try substances that you can buy in the store to determine whether or not you would get a reading with a police breathalyzer consuming that substance. Today we are trying uh, Hata Ramune, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, Japanese soda. This is a very popular Japanese soda that people drink. And I have always wondered, can you fail a breathalyzer with Japanese pop? We're going to find out. <coughs> We gotta start by opening it, and that's gonna be the, probably the most difficult thing. It's got special instructions for the opening. Go! Yep. Whoa! Science! Yeah, so. What is that? Yes, and then this part gets pushed down here. There's like a weird ball. <laughs> this is the picture to do this. Oh. <laughs> so there you go. Opened. All right. Little for you. Thank you. Another lab spill. Second lab spill that we've had recently in the Acumen Labs. Thankfully, no explosions. People so, here should know that Paul is famous for lab spills. Lab explosions, too. So, as always, we test ourselves to make sure that we're at zero so you can see that we're at zero. And because we want reliable science, I'm at zero. Zero. Okay, so let's uh, see what this tastes like. Bottoms Cheers. up. Mm. Tastes not too bad. Zero. Yours is much faster than mine. I still think I'm zero. <laughs> so, can you fail it with, uh, say, say the name again, Kyla? Uh, uh, Ramune, that's how I pronounce it. Japanese soda, apparently you can't. So, safe to drink and drive. You gotta clean up your lab spill now. Yeah, I guess. If you have any suggestions for anything that we should try, just type them into the comments box below and we'll try them in an upcoming episode of Can You Fail It? 